Uh, well, I'm glad you did, because, you know, I, I want to get to George Bush today, but before we do, I, I, you're here, and I want to talk about this movie, What Women Want, because it's out, and it's what people are talking about. It also has me ticked off. Uh, <laughs> because, you know... How weird. It, it, well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, I mean, the idea that if you haven't seen this movie, and, of course, if you're a guy and you haven't been dragged by a chick... <laughs> You haven't. Uh, what do you mean, dragged by a chick? Well, no guy would see this movie if he. Oh, had a... oh, you've been taken to the flick. Yeah. Oh, I dig. I mean, it's the only. It's the kind of movie a guy goes to because he wants to get laid. The chick flick. <laughs> right. But what's the premise? No man would ever go on his own. What's the premise? The premise is that a man, Mel Gibson, who now apparently is. <laughs> um, <laughs> he used to blow things up. Now he's this guy. Uh, you know, acquires the powers <laughs> to understand what women are thinking. Oh, okay. and this... oh God, I don't want. Would you? I don't want. I mean, you're probably very confident. I don't want to know. <laughs> Why would you want to know? You're making love. Oh, you're so great. I'd rather have a rooster inside me. <laughs> <laughs> no. What about the only reason I'd like to know what a woman thinks if if she has PMS? I'd need a coming attraction. Ten minutes to leave house. <laughs> Ten minutes to leave house. <laughs> no, that's when I would like to read a woman's mind. Otherwise, why? It, you know, surprising is, is, is... I like surprise in life. I'm sorry. Should I kiss you again? <laughs> <laughs> so why are you upset about the yeah, movie? Well, because there's a cliche that, you know, women don't listen to women. And I think... Men, the don't. women don't listen to women. Men don't listen to women. I think the reality is that... Uh, where we've become a, a nation of men who are just uh, jesters in your court who listen constantly and our whole our whole society is based on the idea of I like to call it making women nod if you watch a there's a guy who understands yeah. what I'm saying if you watch any sort of uh, daytime show like Oprah they cut to the audience a lot and it, you know you have to be saying something on the show that makes women nod <laughs> Children are our most precious resort. No, cut to nodding. A lot of nodding and well, clapping. Sensitivity is more Man, important. this is whacked out, man. I, I have a million problems, but think, but being upset about people nodding is, though, is the coolest, <laughs> <laughs> the coolest problem. I think he's going to kiss you again. No, it's not about kissing it. You should go to <laughs> Betty Ford. Go to the nod wing. Get over this. Well, can no, I just say I... that they got, the, they, with the premise that they used, they got the realization of it completely backward. Because Mel Gibson went from being a jerk to being this nice, sensitive guy. Whereas if men really could read our thoughts, could know what we're thinking, he, he should have gone from being an ass to being a bigger ass. Completely disagree. <laughs> well, this woman disagrees. I you you, you mean a real hand. man. Yeah, we're a normal, real man, yeah, because it gives them the exactly. upper hand. They're not supposed to know what we're thinking. They're not supposed to know that we want to tie them down. It's supposed to be the surprise element. Really? How, how can you play games? Really? And you're a Jewish conservative? I, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> wow. Well, well, the whole rules thing, that is conservative. That's, it's the, you're right. He, he, the problem I, is that there's not enough real men that we've become emasculated. No, I, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, I, I disagree. Have so many issues speak here. for your own, speak for your own <laughs> testicles, no, really. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I agree with you in a sense, but I think we act emasculated. I don't think real men are emasculated. I think you said it right from the beginning. I think men will say what they have to say, act the way they have to act to get laid. Whether it's by their girlfriends or by their wives. I agree. But, yeah. Look, if, if. I'm, I'm married for the third time. <laughs> God willing, the last time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like I've learned some little lessons in life it's like it's 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 like the whole thing of like when a woman comes to you to tell you her problems men want to fix it if a friend of mine comes to me a guy i tell him you know well maybe do this do this do this he he, he walks away with ideas you don't do that with a woman no with a woman you sit there and go god baby that sucks and so what movie do you want to see do you want to go see that mo gibson right. movie so you know? so you're <laughs> You know, and, and then, you know... So you're doing what I'm saying. You're making women nod. But you're not... And it happens in the home, and it happens in society, and it's every guy I know does the same... what is wrong with but, that? What is wrong with trying to make people nod? Because what's underneath because, the... Wait a minute. What's underneath the wanting to people nod? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I dropped my hairdryer in the bath and knew exactly what you were going to say. No. What? <laughs> okay. No. The reason oh, you the want. Time of the month, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm walking off the show. No, no you're not. No, Come I'm on, walking sit down. There's a history of angina in my family. She hit me. Right. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's get, no, all right, let's get to you your new good actor. I'm sorry. I apologize. Come on, sit down. That was like, you know, I know, like, I know, you know, I know, I know. It's a drug okay. bust. You know, with those. <laughs> I, I'm you know, sorry I'm about the network you are. I'm suing the network. <laughs> Wait, the really, my phone one just okay. fell out of my behind when you just did that. <laughs> that was really, I mean, are really. Okay? I, why did I say that? They're so upset. Are you okay? Stop nodding. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't buy any of this. I think it's a lot of crap. I, well, well, I want to nod. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to make women nod. I want women to make me nod. Don't you get it? That's why I don't buy any of this. I want to be happy. The but, reason but, you want to make people nod. Mm, not people. people. A little louder? Seriously. Not, people. That's negating the right, premise. Okay, no. The reason? <laughs> Do you feel better now? I could. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, the reason that... I just had a premature panel ejaculation. I better go. <laughs> The the movie, there's break. a reason that the movie What Women Want was the uh, highest grossing movie in December <laughs> of all time. If, if, if the movie were called What Men Want, first of all, it'd be rated X. Second of all, it'd be a short. Right? Am I right? Okay. The reason, the reason this movie is so popular, the reason I was sitting there watching it and some man that was sitting alone kept screaming in the audience, Give me a hairdryer! The reason all of this was occurring is because we as human beings want to make connections. We also want to have great sex, okay? So, I want to have great sex. I would rather have great sex with a man, right? I'd also like to connect with that person. And so what is, chest wrong, you can. what is wrong with well, wanting that connection and sharing what I believe and what I feel and how do you feel about that? Do I'll you feel, you, do you share? I'll tell you, but I have to take a commercial break. <laughs> but I'm not, it's not that I'm not I'm with, breaking away. You asked me... What is the problem with making women nod? Nothing if it's the truth. The problem is that you have relegated us to a nation of liars just to make you nod. It would be one thing if we were saying things we believe, but we're not, because every guy I know is just doing what he can to stay out of the doghouse with his wife or his girlfriend. And that's what making women nod means. It means saying things we don't believe. Ally McBeal is too skinny. If that's we really don't believe true, that. if that's really true, what a lonely existence that is. What do you mean lonely? What a lonely, lonely existence. You're right. It's lonely. Men are because lonely. You're just, are they? Well, yes. they really, okay, do they want to be because that lonely? Because we're in fear of you. You're yeah. not well, that lonely confused. if you're we allowing have, yourself to connect confused. with another human being. We have confused no. men yes. back and forth with the men all the time. You know, first we want the more sensitive one, so we get the more sensitive one. Who's the we? I, I know who the we is. We're the the answer, the answer, the answer, the women. Uh. As soon as you get your sensitive one, you're like, oh, that was a little bit effeminate the way he moved. Did you see how he moved? So we want the Neanderthal back. You know, it's like we're confused. You want it all. They right. basically, Both. yes, so this movie should have been called Wishful Thinking. I mean, because that's, that's not how it would have turned out. No. And it's not what no. we would have wanted. My whole, point, my whole point is that the sentiment, I think, I grew up with a mom and three sisters. I think the sentiment is, is good. I watched that movie. It makes me feel all warm and tingly. But the cynical side of me, I think the male side of me of what Bill's saying, this is, this is planned. Mel Gibson's agents were like, okay, your 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 dams are not doing very good with women in this age group. They we need to get you a, a vehicle. They want to make women there. nod too. Exactly, because women who nod it's are paying for is, movies, and they're powerful. They exactly. elected the what president. You, what do you want the women to do then? What you? It's not what they the, want the women to do. It's what I want the men to do. I okay. want the men to just be themselves again and stop worrying about just staying out of the doghouse. Better to be in the doghouse and be who you are than to be this liar, yeah. this person. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 don't, we don't think that sensitivity is more important than sex. We don't, okay? When we're telling you that, we're lying to make you I not. Can yeah, but <laughs> there's got to be a point. I mean, I agree with you to a certain point, but there is a point that I think all men basically come clean. I do. I mean, I can only keep up the charade for so long. How about you? You're married. You're keeping up the charade. I'm not. Dude. <laughs> I can't look Wait, like that. I, I, I don't get it. I, I feel no. really stupid. I mean, I'm listening to everybody, and you, I, just, I hope this third marriage works. I've never been married, but I've been late a lot, and I'm not boasting about it. And I'm not, but and, and their body parts move, but I never had to make them nod while they were screwing. I'll tell you right now.
<laughs> so I don't understand this. I've had, you know, feminists must be going berserk hearing this stuff. I mean, I don't, I, I go out with women who I don't feel I have to make them nod. Because you're not married. Oh, you're talking about just married men? Well, people are ma people are in relationships. Society, look at look at the sitcoms. Do the dads are all dumb and, and the women are all brilliant. It's not just with men and women. You're constantly trying to make other people nod. Like I'm, no, it's because, because women you're are trying to connect with other human beings on this earth. That's what we're trying to do all the time. But my no, big... that's not what. No, <laughs> you're wrong. Not to say that it's my not about question. that. You're, you're trying to make it about of you're... doubt. There, Bill's like. You're trying to make it about human beings, touchy-feely kumbaya, and it's not. Because life isn't made of human beings, it's made of men and women, and we're all constantly thinking about how we can connect with each other. And we used to connect with each other on a more honest level, but you now have us so subservient. When, when did we on a more honest level? Give me an example. When men used to be men, when men used to be like, I'm who I when am, and you women will either accept me or not accept and me, but I'll be who I am. There was not one two. But were women just no, no, being no. women when men were really being men? Women were being the women that were just stuck in the kitchen and, and nodding to men. Pilgrim women did not have kitchens. <laughs> well, the fact that they chose Mel Gibson for this, this is like the feminist conquest over mandom, okay? Because here you take like this action <laughs> yeah. hero, this testosterone right. macho guy, and turn him into a drag queen. You know, why yeah. didn't you just make him a decent person? Exactly. The <laughs> irony is that he paints his nails, he shaves his oh, legs. Really? He does all the things that women do to get Yeah, yeah feel our pain by waxing your legs. I, I mean, that is such a cliche. In fact, Mark Feuerstein, who played Mel Gibson's sidekick in the movie, said that after making the movie, he had no better idea as to what the hell women wanted than, than beforehand. He, he actually said this. This was like in some headline. And, and, so, and, and why should he? Because it didn't give us any insights whatsoever. Is there any way we could talk about a movie I saw like Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> did Godzilla make people... Did Godzilla make other dinosaurs nod to get laid? The, the only men who will ever know what women want are gay men. Oh. Uh, I'd have to agree with Phil. <laughs> And why? How? What do you mean, why? How? Because that's who they are. Just, and we're not. Actually, what it is... And you blame us you know, for being who we are. You used to accept us. You're dogs. Yeah, we, we are. We that's who that. we are. When did we used to accept that? Well, you know what? It depends. It depends on, on the man. For example, men already know pretty much what women think. If you're not showing up for a date that you're supposed to pick her up tonight and you don't show up, you can guess what she's thinking. So either you care or you don't care. So, so a guy who, who does care, uh, basically, uh, if he's allowed to now actually read women's thoughts, then he would turn from being sensitive to being annoyingly sensitive, whereas <laughs> a, a jerk would turn into a more cunning jerk because, you know, whatever he can get, to, you know, whatever tools are at his disposal to seduce a woman, he's going to use it. I haven't been hit with a hairdryer, but I agree with everything you said. Okay, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> In Suffolk County, New York, police ha from there, police have been accused of making a woman get this uh, suspected of drunk driving, strip down to her panties and high heels, and walk home to teach her a lesson. And the, wo and the woman also said that looking back on the incident, that she's not so sure that that thing she blew into was the breathalyzer. <laughs> All right. Um, I mentioned that I'm a little ticked at uh, George Bush, and don't say I'm not giving him a chance, but this guy is like a nut standing on a street corner saying the world is ending, talking about the economy these days. He is talking us into a recession. We're not headed for one, except that he keeps saying, I'm taking my money out of the bank and putting it in a shoebox. He's a doomsday machine with a, with a smirk. Well, economists... <laughs> <laughs> yes.